I put on for my city, even more for my company. The war might get ugly, fight it until we comfortably. Sitting in position, our faces all on our currency. Fuck the opposition, we cooking them like an oven beat. Wanna be a soldier, I show you, just come and fuck with me. Put you on to that fly living with fly fringes. Fly women and fly linen that buy with us. Ride with us, cause if you down, you die with us. Gun super size and serve with fries, nigga. Got a spaz on them, the only way that I do it. I keep the flow fluid, pull up in the beige view it. Hop out with the same type match that Bane uses. Me, I was born in the dark and changed to it. Rappers went soft out here when he raised music. Stay true with no skinny jeans or tight blazers. Beam on the chop bullet like a lightsaber. Gear like a Jedi, power of Dark Vader. Shot, shot, giving you double like bar waiters. Cutting off haters, traders, no more favors. They wanna get with us, we making them sign waivers. I don't make trap rap, this is that for your cat rap. Do it for them niggas, Mossberg up in their backpack. They tired of the projects, feeling just like a long. Y'all by Shimmy, I was shot, break a thumb. Y'all with Shimmy, thumb by Shimmy, I was shot. Freezing Captain, not as I can shot here with another episode of The Former is All Things. You tune in live to the salt of the earth. We highlight our contributions to culture and heritage that the world has taken and gobbled up for themselves that come from so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that we do not realize, you understand, how the damage from us not obeying the Most High has greatly impacted our ability to be strong and hold and wield power in the earth. As always, we start in Jeremiah 51 and 19. The Lord says the portion of Jacob is not like them, meaning our people are not like another nation of people. For he, meaning Jacob, the forefather of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, is the former of all things, meaning the creator, the progenitor, the father of all things. That's why we highlight our story, our records in the Bible. You understand our inventions that our people have done, things that we've done throughout history, all of these things we highlight in the former of all things. You understand, like the scriptures are saying. Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The reproducing God's inheritance of God's people on the earth is not done by all races, all nations of people. It is only done by so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native American men that reproduce the men and women of our nation. A man does that. Not Mother Earth, not Mommy, not all people are equal. A man, the seed inside of a man, the sperm, that determines if you are a Israelite a so-called Black, Hispanic, or Native American, if your father is one of these 12 tribes, you are an Israelite. That is your nation. That is your heritage. That is the heritage that God in the Bible gave to you. Not a Baptist, not a Jehovah Witness, not a Seventh-day Adventist, not an Episcopal, not a, not a Muslim, a Buddhist, a Rasta, a Moor, none of that nonsense, all of those silly subcultures that our people have created underneath of the foot of another nation of people who created a title for themselves so that they can get rich with our oppressors as they crush our people and eat our culture, which is why we are highlighting the former of all things. And today we want to get into our culture that has been taken because we don't have the Lord's boundaries that he set up, talking about heathen stealing rap music. You understand? Of course, rap music started in the 80s. You have Brothers, Cool Mo D, Grandmaster Flash, The Furious Five. You understand Public Enemy. You understand Eric B, Rock Kim, earlier pioneers of rap, KRS One. You understand a culture and heritage we created, a lane for ourselves to express ourselves and our people and the fight and the plight and the struggles that we had on an everyday basis against our oppressors and regular day to day life and our struggles here in America, you understand? Yeah, us coming up, fighting our oppression, fighting the lies and the racism going up against us that we face in here in America. And this was very much about our culture, our struggles, our race. Blacks and Hispanics, we were always together. Native Americans, Puerto Ricans, Mexicans, we were always together, you understand? It wasn't until the civil rights movement that we started to integrate with our oppressors and our relationships and brotherhood with each other started to fall apart. And gradually we got integration, we got voting, we got desegregated schools, our businesses and communities fell apart. Shortly after came drugs, government welfare and assistance, divided, destroyed, disintegrated our family units. Then the children being raised underneath of that after the fall of our economies, 
America dropped the crack cocaine and heroin into our communities. It exploded. We became gang members and we've been fighting at each other's throats ever since in and out of prison filled with sorrow and sadness, our entire communities and economies gobbled and swallowed up by the other nations of people, which is why the Lord said these things in the scriptures that are so very important, that every area and aspect of our lives are affected by us not obeying the most high. You understand? The Lord said this in all things, remember the days of old, consider the years of many generations, ask thy father and he will show thee, thy elders and they will tell thee. This is one of my favorite scriptures in the Bible that the Lord wants us to consider many generations and not just what's going on now. Since we have integrated, what has happened to previous generations has become irrelevant because the generation after integration stopped teaching blacks and Hispanics about the previous generation because they didn't want to explain to them that these people that you think are now you're the same and race doesn't matter, color doesn't matter, all of these things. Of course, we don't give a damn about skin color, hair texture, lip density, nose shape. We don't care about none of that nonsense and I should be came. But for the sake of brothers and sisters that are in the world who are not in the truth, who are not in the ISUPK, we say these things so that you can get a better understanding of what we mean, all right? Like our people are taught that race does not matter after integration. When the previous years from the 60s, 50s, 40s, 30, 18, 17, 16, 15, 1400s, if you were a so-called Mexican, if you were a so-called native, a Puerto Rican, a Taino, an Arawak, an Aztec, Mayan, Incan descendant, or a Negro or a native, North, South, and Central America, a Seminole Indian, Indian, then your race was one of the most important things to determine if you were a human being to our oppressor or if you were a dog to be leashed and beat and whipped and exploited and raped and sold and traded and killed at will. That is how we were treated. That is why we made black communities, HBCUs. That's why we had blacks out of towns. That's why everything was bordered and segregated. We were safer then. We loved each other more. We built our own universities. We produced more scientists, doctors, and lawyers. And we had our own things carved out for us, just like we did with hip hop and rap. You understand? Which is what we are talking about and how the heathen had swallowed up our culture. You consider the years of many generations, this is what rap was for. You understand? Fight the power, public enemy, was all about us being strong against our oppressor. This is public enemy. Your sons and daughters now may never learn about them because our music has been so dumbed down, watered down, and drug-fueled and gentrified that you don't even understand the purpose that hip-hop had in the beginning. We don't understand it. Now that Jewish bankers and our oppressor runs our music industry for the last few decades, it has been about shooting and killing each other pouring out our sisters being drug addicts. That is what became when we integrated, which is why we are reading the scriptures we're reading and why it's so imperative to understand what the Bible means when it says the former of all things. This is Run DMC, early rap groups on, pioneers in hip hop, KRS-One. Many of your sons and daughters that listen to rap and hip hop today, they will never know anything about the heritage of what came before and what the purpose was. You understand? Eric B. and Rakim, early rap superstars. You understand? Large professor. You understand? Just a few to highlight. Of course, you know your Jay-Z, your Nas, your modern rap groups, your Wu-Tang, DMX, Rough Riders, L-Block. You understand? D-Block. All of your later last two generations. You understand? Last two decades, last 20 years of hip-hop, early 2000s, the 90s, your Tupac, your Biggie. It was about black and brown issues and problems. But because the Christian church and integration and this political movement and agenda to make us closer to our oppressors, we forfeited things that were specifically carved out for black people. That's why the Lord said, remember the days of old and consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father and, they will, and he will show thee. Our fathers were supposed to teach us, but they stopped because they didn't want us to think of things about race. That's why when we get pulled over in traffic stops, we don't know, well, why is this happening? Because you've been led to believe that race does not matter when God said race matters. God said your nationality matters. God did this when the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance. 
when he separated, God separated people, the sons of Adam, he set the bounds, meaning a boundary of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. There's supposed to be a boundary in every area and aspect of our culture, our community, our style, our flavor, everything about us is supposed to have a boundary so that no other people can come and take things from us and give it to their people so that they can be strong and it weakens us because we don't understand the importance of race, of nationality, of our heritage, because our life has been spent since our fathers refused to teach us about the previous generations. They've tried to erase slavery and Jim Crow and desegregation and black codes and the chattel slavery and the effects that it has done to our people, which is why we are so ignorant of history and the past as blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, we willingly join our oppressors that destroy us, that slaughter our people, that steal our culture, steal our heritage, gobble up our resources, our economy, our labor force, our community, even down to our very music, our talent and skill sets, which is what we are highlighting today with the former of all things. You understand? This is why God said these in the Bible. When your Christian preacher teaches you that God loves everybody, everybody is the same, we are all God's children. The only people that believe that nonsense are slaves. The various Africans know that they are different and unique and that if they don't fight to preserve Nigeria, then the other Africans will swallow Nigeria up and take what they need for their people. That the Chinese know that if they don't preserve Chinese culture and heritage, the other Asian ethnic groups will swallow up their heritage and take what they need for their people. It's why there are militaries. It's why there are boundaries and borders and governments. It's why they have arms. It's why martial arts were created to give every people an advantage to fight, to hold on to their land and their territory. Every dog does it. Every people, every creature, every species, from the sea world to the jungle, to the plains, the safari, the Sahara, the desert, everything is fighting for survival and dominance for the future generations of their people, except one race of people. That is these 12 tribes. That's why we are highlighting this. You understand? Let's get some more. Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse two. The Lord said that Judah mourner, meaning the real Jews are in a state of mourning, a state of sadness, a state of suffering. Why are we in this state? Because the gates thereof language, our leadership, our borders, our boundaries, the things that are to supposed to protect our culture from another nation of people coming to steal it for themselves, just like hip hop, the things that are supposed to carry us and separate us so that these other nations of people cannot steal your gifts, your talent, your skills and say, well, this is for all people, which is the same thing that happened when black people, even though it was a lesbian homosexual movement that was politically charged just to give lesbians power to get rich and exploit you and your emotions because you don't want to come into the eyes, you became the truth and serve the Lord and get real justice and real protection from the Lord, you want to march and vote and protest like Martin Luther King taught us to do, which didn't save him or anyone who followed him or any of our communities or families to this very day that were further destroyed after integration and desegregation. You want to follow that method instead of obeying the Lord. All of that was just to exploit our people. Filled with your emotions, you go out and vote. You put Biden and Kamala Harris in office. She's not a black woman at all. She comes from a lineage of slave traders where her father is a so-called Caucasian from a lineage of slave traders throughout the West Indian Islands. And she also a prosecutor in her career, putting blacks and Hispanics in prison with that Biden crime bill to give you mandatory minimums so that all of our fathers, brothers, nieces, nephews, aunts and uncles end up doing lengthy prison systems after our economy and culture was decimated through desegregation and integration, and the government purposely flooded crack cocaine and heroin with Reaganomics, with Al Sharpton, with the mafia, with the Iran Contra scandal to flood drugs into our communities so that they could justify mass incarcerating us, putting us back into slavery, essentially with a permanent slave labor force, just like they had before during chattel slavery, before Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves. All of these things are very important and tie into why the Lord said these laws, statutes, and commandments, 
was our wisdom, our strength and understanding in the sight of the nations. So let's get some more. You understand? The Lord said the gates, our boundaries and borders are weak and they have fallen down. So now this hip hop and rap that was created for us, a way for us to come up and express ourselves from the ghetto to poverty and the slums without representation, any race of people can come and just pick it up and have it for themselves. They can wear you as a costume. You understand? Because now our culture is not about things that are racially for us. Our culture is just about music and politics. It isn't about our God and our forefathers because that's contained in the Bible. Since we've integrated and you've taken, our people have taken Christianity, democracy, Buddhism, Rastafarianism, Islam, reading the tarot cards, the zodiacs, Kemet, worshiping goddamn crystals and tarot cards and zodiac signs, Everybody can come and willingly exploit our people and they can just, you know, get a stack of money and make a face at the camera. And now they're a rapper. They can just pretend to be you. They can just point at the camera. The Africans can be you. You understand? The oppressor, Vanilla Ice can be you. They can get tell you see, they can frown up their face, make poses like you. And just like that, they can pretend to be you. All in Asia, Vietnam and Korea, Get them some tattoos with the Lord said not to do. Get on some drugs with the Lord said not to do. They'll take your culture and then this will be who you are. This is your identity. Put money up in front of the camera, twerking, partying, having a good time, getting high. It won't be about we are the people of the Lord. It won't be about God made us to be separate. It won't be about we can't have interracial marriages and other nations of people joining us and we embrace their culture because they rap like us and sing like us and dance like us and hang around our community and frown up their face like us and wear fitted caps like us and turn their head to the back and the side like us and wear the cholo culture and wear and throw up gang signs and they do everything as a subculture we created for ourselves. They can just wear it and they'll wear us and their job will be to pretend to be you. They'll get rich and make money pretending to be black, pretending to be Hispanic, and Asher Roth and everybody will rap and they'll be able to sell you gold teeth and grills like Paul Wall. Even though it's biblically your culture, Post Malone will be able to wear your culture as a costume and he can have the best time of his life. Lil White will be able to wear your culture as a costume. You understand? Get some braids, roll up a smoke a cigarette, do the hand gestures like you, lean to the left and the right like you. And they'll be their job will be I am a professional Negro. I'm a professional Black person. The Africans would throw up hand signs like you, even though for centuries, the Africans were not trying to be you because the Nigerians were selling you for a profit to the Arabs and the British for centuries. But again, because the Christian church, you understand in the Democratic and Republican Party, which are the gods that your forefathers, that your mothers and fathers worship in church, they don't want to teach you about race because they don't want you to look at race because they don't want you to have to focus on the many generations that God is telling you that they are supposed to teach their children. So that when your daughter grows up to be an OnlyFans model, this is what America has programmed. It's not about keeping God's laws to not be a whore, to not have interracial marriages, to not have abortions, to not be strung out on drugs and murder your brother, you understand? and shame and embarrass your people and not have abortions and have sex with multiple men, your culture is just entertainment. Football, basketball, hip hop, a couple of record labels, gold chains, dressing nice, that's it. You understand? It isn't about building a family, a community, having resources, being able to have a military, a government, and an army, because you believe you're a part of another nation of people. So the Chinese can come and just exploit your culture and wear it as a costume, and that'll be their job. This will be their job. They'll just pretend to be you. They'll do their hands like you. They'll make a face like you. They'll throw up their signs for the neighborhood like you. And they'll be able to wear you as a costume for money. They'll be able to wear you as a costume for money. Akon will be able to own a record label. You understand? After he in the hood pretending to be you, stealing cars, running with the boys, joining the gang, because your culture is open. It is open for whoever wants to come and take a piece. Everyone can come and get something for themselves and then just say, you know, see, I'm one of them. We the same. They can just do that and, and they'll fit right in. 
everyone is welcome. You understand? Just like a whore that is available for everyone to sleep with, everyone can come and take a piece of Black, Hispanic, and Native American culture, carve something out for themselves, and no one will call them out because the Christian church has made you accept all nations of people when God does not want that. God said, don't do that from the very beginning. Here's another scripture, Jeremiah 12 and 9. The Lord said, my heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. We've always been different shades of brown, different colors, skin color, hair texture, whether you have an afro or not, curly, straight hair, your, nip, your, your nose, your lips, your height, your different nail textures and hair textures. None of that nonsense means you're an Israelite or not. Who your father is determines who you are. That's why the Lord said here in Jeremiah, before chattel slavery, before this skin color nonsense making you believe somebody is this race or that race, which is how they class or, class or categorize us to sell us as slaves by skin color, who's good for what job, our oppressors did that. The Lord equates his people as a beautiful bird, a speckled bird. The birds around about, meaning the other nations of people, are against her. Come ye, assemble yourself all the beasts of the field. The other nations are the beasts of the field. Come to devour. They're here to devour our culture, our music, our style, our flavor. They've taken the Bible and made denominations for themselves. They took the Bible and made Christianity when the Bible is not for our oppressor. They took the Bible and used pieces of it to make Islam and the Quran when the Bible is not for the Ishmaelites or the Arabs. Everyone is able to take a piece of us so that they can make something great for themselves, which is why the Lord said he separated all nations of people from the very beginning. Every people understands that except for ours. And it is the fault of the Christian church by lying, telling us that everybody is God's people. Race doesn't matter. You understand? That is a lie. God separated all people. This is the former of all things, the latest episode. You understand? He's instilling our hip hop and rap culture. This is why the Lord separated and set boundaries. Every area and aspect of our life is suffering because we have learned Christianity and accepted the other nations of people that God told us to be holy and separate from. Like, share, subscribe, leave your comment, tell us what you thought, give us a thumbs up, comment on YouTube, we appreciate your support. Shalom. Give me Exodus 4.22. And how in the hell did you try to take this Bible and use it for everybody? You stupid as hell, you dumb as hell. This Bible is what's gonna condemn you. Because this is the book of the Israelites. You should have destroyed this book, you dumb so-called white people. Yep. Instead of going around and trying to use the Bible, the Bible is the book that's going to destroy your world. world, 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 world. Excuse me, everyone, I have a brief announcement to make. Jesus was black. Ronald Reagan was the devil, and the government is lying about 9-11. Thank you for your time, and good night. No! That can't be true! Shalom, Ak. Shalom, Ak. Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah Barakatah. Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah Barakatah. Time.